We well, yeah, had Lily's family shared some good news a few hours ago. She's out of the ICU and is now able to walk on her own. The wildlife sergeant that got to meet her today was impressed by how the nine year old is handling this traumatic experience. Surrounded by stuffed animals and a butterfly balloon, nine year old Lily Krezovinsky is healing. The cuts and claw marks on her body are a painful reminder of what happened over Memorial Day weekend when she found herself being loaded into a life flight helicopter. She's a very tough girl. Uh, she's She's tougher than most grown men that I know. Washington Fish and Wildlife Sergeant Tyler Berenberg had the day off and was playing with his kids last Sunday when his phone rang. It's a call you never want to get. A young girl had been attacked by a cougar while playing hide and seek with her friends at a Fruitland campground. At the time, I didn't know if the cougar was still on scene, if it was still alive, what the situation was. Um, so I was running code to get there as fast as I could. Meanwhile, Lily was landing at Sacred Heart Hospital, heading into emergency surgery and later the ICU. The cougar had been euthanized about 350 feet from where it grabbed Lily. As Sergeant Berenberg investigated the scene, he couldn't help but wonder how Lily was doing. Finally, today, he was able to see for himself. She is very incredible. She's very strong. Her spirit, she was joking about things today. Um, she she wanted to interact with us like it was just an incredible experience. Lily was also eager to tell the sergeant she tried her best to scare the big cat before it attacked. She talked about getting big, right? She said, I'm little, but I get I got as big as I could. Speaking to her about the incident for how brave she was in the incident and talking about all the things that she knew about and how to deal with cougars, right? How to interact with cougars. She told me about all these things. Before this wildlife sergeant left, he had a surprise for Lily. Some gifts and cards from local high school students who wanted Lily to know they're thinking about her. Great to see just all this overwhelming support for her. And I really hope it continues because she could really use it. Her family could really use it. And just to keep her spirits high. And support coming in in a lot of ways. A GoFundMe set up for Lily and her family has already raised more than $86,000. In the newsroom, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.